I've been trying to do more simple, easy, quick photo outings. Just go out for a few minutes wherever, it really doesn't matter, and take some photos. One lens, one camera, but try to avoid having bug spray on because usually I'm going to do something afterwards. So did that recently and first off I get there, I go to a large state park quite a bit. Good place, I know it well and know areas that I tend to like. So I went to one of those and got out within a few minutes at most, you know, the uh, mosquitoes came out and caused some issues so I went back to my car really quick didn't want to get bit up and I was gonna just leave at that point but I was thinking well let's go around the long way and check things out and there was an area that I don't think I've ever been to it has a parking lot and get out there usually there's like a structure that was related to water or power or something but it's all cleared out now I check this place out, get out there with the camera, the other camera for the video, try it out, and no mosquitoes. So it's pretty interesting. Keep taking photos, no mosquitoes. Very good. Now there are honeybees, which are really, really nice to take photos of. I love those honeybees. They're great subjects, nice little furry <laughs> creatures. But in a way, it's a new spot for me because I haven't tried it out. It's not a huge area, but... They do mow some of it, which is really nice, especially for insects and things at this time of year. With the M100 that I was using and the 50mm f1.8 with the standard adapter, I had actually planned on using the Filtrex Speed Booster, but for whatever reason I didn't figure it out when I was packing my gear and I just took what was on the lens and that turned out to be the standard adapter. Notice just using this right now that when it's focused towards the minimum, it wants to stick around there and then it, doesn't, it hesitates as it's trying to find focus. So that's an interesting quirk of this setup. I don't know if it's just the situation, but uh, who knows. It was pretty challenging to use this combination out there. It was super bright, so with the screen only, I was having a hard time and I had my sunglasses on, which kind of emphasizes the issue of seeing the screen, but I managed all right. I did actually use the camera upside down a few times to try to get a different look. With the 50 and the standard adapter, I was getting that 85mm look to the photos. Not really as long as I would like in that specific setup, but I was getting photos of singular flowers, a lot of flowers in the background, which is always nice to have the extra color in the background. And the skies were super nice, clouds in the area, but still very blue. I could see going back there in the future with the longer telephoto lens, maybe a super wide. It's got some really nice fields that go off pretty far in the distance, so I could see that working well for a lot of different uh, field of views, different looks, apertures, whatever. Maybe some different types of photography as well. After the first area didn't work out too well, putting that extra effort in to find a different spot was a great idea. I need to do that more often is if something isn't ideal, something isn't working out, don't give up, but try different things, try new things, experiment. In that case, it worked out nicely. Anyways, Scott Photography Bonsai. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again.